that's the taste of the song where happiness dwells recorded with youth from Blueberry River First Nations in British Columbia, all made possible by Nuijanan, an initiative putting the spotlight on young Indigenous musicians and the driving force behind a sold-out concert happening tomorrow night at the UBC Auditorium. Well, David Hodges is the co-founder of the Nuijanan Music Initiative. He's joined right now by Tisha Davis and TJ Sochan, young members of the Blueberry River First Nations. They all join us today in uh, Vancouver. So good morning to all of you there, bright and early in Vancouver, to be with us today. Uh, David, I want to begin with you, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, we're talking about the sixth volume of song collections that you've put out. Uh, but you've been doing this for four years uh, ahead of tomorrow's concert. I want us to go back. What started this all? Uh, this was basically uh, something that brought me into the Cree Nation of Quebec, uh, where there was a lack of artistic programming in the communities, and there was, but there was so much talent. And so their youth council saw an opportunity with a lot of the work that I was already doing in education and in music to come into their communities and find that talent. And uh, that basically, you know, history is kind of told and we're already on volume six right now. We've worked with over 600 uh, Indigenous youth and just giving a voice to uh, to the young people who are interested in expressing themselves through music. And, you know, anyone interested, and I heard it's a sold out concert, but they can they can perhaps try to check out the concert tomorrow night at UBC that promotes this collection and other albums and songs that have been put together by the initiative. But how does this even work? Because you've been really, I don't know, fortunate, lucky, or just finding this raw talent and putting it together to song. How does this process even begin? Um, it's really connecting with a, like a community member who d has discovered the talent already or knows that there's an interest. And so before we even come, there's kind of like this understanding that like our music studio is coming to the community. So working even with TJ and Tisha here and the rest of the Blueberry River First Nation kids, like they already knew we were coming and kind of had an expectation. So when we came in, it was really just identifying and like figuring out who does what, who sings, who raps, who writes, and then kind of coming up with the concept that's very pertinent specifically to what those youth are experiencing in their community. Yeah, but we also have to say, it's not like you're doing this through months or even weeks, you're doing this in days. Yeah, we're doing this in four days, but I mean, music is a universal language for, for young people. I mean, for anyone in general, people listen to music. It's something that's accessible and it's understood. It's, and if you have that desire to create music, it's kind of like that process can be expedited with the technology that's available to young people today. Okay, well, let's bring in some of the artists here. Tisha, I want to bring you into the conversation. Uh, what do you think of what David's doing here? I honestly think it's really amazing because when we started out and like we heard about it, it it wasn't like as big as it, like we weren't expecting it to be as big as it is. And we're so grateful that David and Dre came out to our community to be with us and gave us an experience to be in Vancouver today mm. and for the weekend. And Not, send our message out. Sorry, go ahead, <laughs> TJ. I said and send our message out because, I yeah, mean... Well, tell we us have, about that. What what message do you want to send out? Ooh, I'm going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> well, when listen to the song, I think it's kind of clear that we all come from different places and the best part to, like, I mean, the best part, the best way to like come together and solve a problem is to come together and solve a problem. No matter where you're from, we're all, you know, if a if hundred people put in their two cents, then you have two dollars. So, and the video really shows that and it's just connected and better supported by the song. Mm -hmm. You know, peace, love and positivity. Need. Well, and that I have to say that message comes clear not only in your song but a lot of the other songs that we're hearing in this collection. But uh, I don't know who wants to answer it, but Tisha and TJ, how are you feeling about the concert tomorrow? It's a sold-out concert. Uh, you're going from your hometown to perform in front of hundreds of people. How are you feeling about that right now? Um, I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous, but I think we'll be all right. We usually do pretty, pretty good. TJ? I've always wanted to be famous, so like, <laughs> I'm more excited than nervous, yeah. And that's it, Michael, like, you set up that platform for young people, people, like, young kids, they step up, man. This is, like, a desire, you know, to, like, you know, to the, the have that shine, to have that fame, but at the same time, it, we're part, this is a positive movement, right? So it's also adding that extra layer, 
And that's what's touching people's hearts when people are seeing the videos. It's not just kids trying to act like, you know, kind of cool and all that, even though they are real cool, it's that they're also packing that positive message. And that adds that extra layer of confidence to like the listener and also to the kids that are representing their people and that this is going to be something that can be remembered for a long time. Well, it is an amazing project. We wish uh, all of you well for tomorrow's concert. Break a leg, as they say. Uh, but as we say, uh, Tisha and David, thank you to you. TJ, you want to be famous, perform, to, <laughs> perform for us as you, we go to break here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is TJ ahead of tomorrow's concert at UBC. Go for it, TJ. Are you going to rap? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to mean acapella, so don't be too blown away. Um, the bigger the home, the bigger the dream. My life lessons make me feel like I'm a victim at the scene. Cause my ugly reality is filled with pain and tragedy. This world is what it is on its way to fatality. But honestly, I want to change it, rearrange it, drain from the game that my life has been staged in. So look to the younger ones. Some may be troublesome, but have no less potential to be number one. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you.